just around the bend from the Thunder Mesa Depot stands this wooden railroad water tank perched atop an old stone pump house. A steam-powered pump in the shed portion brings water up from nearby Big Thunder Creek, keeping those thirsty steamers ready for service on the Thunder Mesa line. The water tank is a freelance design with a general narrow gauge sort of feel. The truth is, I always wanted to build a stone-based water tank and this seemed like a perfect excuse to do so. I also wanted a tank with the railroad's herald emblazoned on the sides, and in this video, I'll show you how I did both. It all started with a block of balsa foam. This gold urethane foam is easy to carve and holds detail very well, so it's become my go-to material of choice for modeling stonework. I wanted the look of old, weather-beaten sandstone, and I used a hobby knife and a hard 5H pencil to do most of the carving. When satisfied with the carving, I painted the stonework with craft acrylics and earth tone shades. Then I pressed spackling compound into the cracks and crevices to represent mortar. Most of this was then wiped away from the surface, leaving only the mortar lines between the stones. A final wash of thinned, warm gray over the top helped to unify all of the colors. I added sturdy wooden lintels above the door and window frames, a detail I've observed on many old southwestern structures, and then scratch built some Z-braced wooden doors for the front and back. The lone window is a modified grant line casting. The look of old-fashioned rippled glass was achieved by painting Woodland Scenic's realistic water on the back of the acrylic glazing and then drying it quickly with a hairdryer. For the roof, I used illustration board with bar mills shingles and basswood for the trim. For the look of old peeling paint on the doors and trim, the wood was first stained a warm gray and then dabbed with rubber cement before being painted with green acrylics. When dry, the rubber cement is rubbed away, revealing the peeling paint look. The secret of the wooden tank and its fancy graphics is that it's not actually made of wood at all. Both the tank wrapper and tank bands are printed paper. Photo CG textures of real wooden planks were composited with the Railroad's Herald and the tank bands in Adobe Photoshop. Even the weathering was added digitally. Two high-quality printouts were created on heavy matte inkjet paper one for the tank wrapper and one for the bands. The wrapper was laminated to a scratch-built cylinder and then the bands were individually cut out and applied in place. Three-dimensional details like tank band fasteners and a water depth gauge really helped to sell the illusion. The conical roof was made from paper and illustration board and finished with Bar Mills paper shingles. A hatch was built from scraps of wood, wire, and paper and the tower finial is the head of a dress pin painted copper. A hollow space was carved out behind the pump house window and a 5 mm yellow LED was installed to illuminate the interior. The tank spout and rigging hardware are white metal castings from Wiseman Model Service and the yoke was scratch built from scale lumber. A final detail is the ladder built from a bar mills kit. If you'd like to build a similar tank for yourself, here are the basic dimensions. You can go ahead and pause here and jot these down if you like. And that's the story of the Thunder Mesa water tank. Thanks for tuning in, amigos. Until next time, adios for now.